So again, the Soyuz is going to continue to close in until a distance of just about 400 meters away. Should be there in, in right around the next four and a half minutes. And at that point, the Soyuz will stop and then begin its fly around uh, to get it to the top side or the space facing side of the station, lining it up with that poise module that the vehicle is going to be docking to in just a little over 29 minutes from now. Copy. And there's a good view of the Soyuz spacecraft. The cameras on the outside of the space station capturing it there. Range 300 meters. Point 73 meters per second. This fly around procedure typically Copy. taking about 10 minutes or so. NASA's Jeff Williams and Roscosmos cosmonauts Alex Gropochka and Alexei Evchinin on board, executing the fly around maneuver to swing themselves onto the uh, top side of the International Space Station. Pretty soon they'll be staring straight down the barrel of the Poisk module and also looking down at Earth. And then at that point they'll be ready to execute their final approach and then dock to the station, which will be their home for a little over six months. And there's our video signal once again. This, the camera on the Soyuz spacecraft itself, continuing to close in. You can see them just 75 meters away. And getting a close-up view of the vehicle. You can see it reflecting a lot of sun. The sun actually just about to set on the station and the uh, Soyuz spacecraft in its final approach. We got confirmation the core's antenna has been retracted on the Soyuz spacecraft. Again, that's the antenna. The core's is the automated rendezvous system uh, that the Soyuz spacecraft uses. Also able to be docked uh, manually by the commander on board the Soyuz spacecraft, but uh, the core is operating uh, successfully so far with this docking. 22 meters range, point 12 meters per second range rate crosshairs collected. Clear docking port, no foreign objects. 20 meters range, point 12 meters per second range rate. The vehicle now within 20 meters away. Point 11 meters per second range. Should just be about three minutes away from docking. Ten meters range, point eleven meters per second range rate, crosshairs collected. Small bars of the electronic periscope crosshairs and the target slide bars. Eight meters uh, point fourteen meters per second range rate. Copy, crosshairs collected. Observing the image. And we're standing by for the contact and capture. The target match. Standing by for docking of the Soyuz to the Poisk module. Point 13 meters per second. Range rate. Crosshairs connected, uh, waiting for contact. We have contact, we have capture. And contact and capture, 
the Soyuz TMA-20M now docked to the International Space Station. And there it is, the hatch now open on the Soyuz spacecraft. That hatch opening right at 12.18 a.m. Central Time, 1.18 a.m. Eastern Time. The three newest Expedition 47 crew members ready to wake, make their way on board the International Space Station. And first through the door is NASA astronaut Jeff Williams. This is going to be his third long duration stay on board the station. And next to the door there is first time space flyer Alexei of Chinin getting his first taste of microgravity and his first look at life on board the International Space Station. And the third and final crew member through the hatch now Oleg Skropochka. Expedition 47 officially back up to six full crew members.